Welcome back, my Finians, to an all-new episode of Fiddlewind playing on Banished. And I'm gonna let you know that this this is probably gonna be the last few episodes, and here's why. I have gotten really, really interested in the mods for this game, the Colonial mods, CC. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to play this series until I feel comfortable with that mod. Once I feel comfortable with that mod, this city series will get retired and I will start playing with the mod, which has a lot more options, a lot more buildings, a lot more farm types. Just overall, it's it's more. There's more of the game. So I wanted to, I need to, you know, I've been playing the game the whole time, not facing north. If I play it facing north, I'm going to get confused. <laughs> um, so I need to redesign or, or do the building you'll notice here this is I've been doing some research and first off we've got a boat let's see what they have to trade cabbage seeds and cherry seeds Ooh, I like um do we have enough I don't know if we have enough and we just did a big purchase so I don't know let's see what can we get more of firewood we got plenty of wood I think uh, probably wouldn't hurt us to chop down some trees, because, yeah. We're getting a little low on wood. Don't I have a whole bunch over here? Eh, somewhat. And I started a new stockpile over here. Let's... I've already got 200 logs. I don't want to send a bunch of tools. I don't want to use up all my tools and leave myself short. Yeah, that's going to be rough. So, one of the things that uh, I found out is that the most efficient or crop size is 15 by 8 for one worker. It produces 840 total food. Uh, that's if your workers are educated. And the perfect orchard size is 8 by 4. Or 15 by 4, sorry. Is it 15 by 4? I think it was 15 by 4. Yeah, I think that's right there is 15 by 4, but I can't, I'm not sure. So we're going to do some more farms. We've got plenty of space over here. We've got a hunter. We've got hunters working. Actually, we should put it over here. and I should clear out some of these trees. We just have so much space over here. So let's do a clearing of resources, which will get us some more wood and some stone. So we're just going to clear all this stuff out. Now, am I on max speed? I am. Get to work. Here they come! Like little ants! Oh. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't know I pressed. So we're going to clear this out a little bit and we're going to put some more farms down here because we're going to eventually need more food. We're, our population is growing. We need... Let's go ahead and build another house because we're not currently... We don't currently have one uh, in the works. We're going to want some more houses over here anyways to supply all these... What is this? Oh, that's a hunting cabin. I couldn't remember. It's all sideways now. I don't even know anymore. So, let's put a house there and then we can put another one there. So, this will get us some resources and also get us some stuff on our stockpile over here. So, yeah, the colonial uh, mods, I'm going to add it. I want to learn it first because I don't want to come in here completely blind. And I, I, I know I when I watch other people, I always kind of watch and you, you know how you want to point out something and go, It's right there! do this you know so I don't want to be that person that you're watching the video going Shh, just you don't know what you're doing so I'm gonna go learn the mods and you can bounce them back and forth between them so I want to learn them and then once I learn them I will come back and we will play them together so let's put in some orchards so we need 15 by 8 which it's not gonna let us do because Oh, I did too big. That's why. Let's do this way. Oh, really? We're going to stone now? 15 by... Well, let's do 15... Is it 15 by... F That's 7. What was I doing with that field? Let me confirm the field side. I'm going to pause the game for just a second. I want to confirm the field size for orchards. I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. Yes, it is 15 by 4 for orchards and 15 by 8 for uh, fields. So, let's go ahead and put in... We've got an orchard right here. Let's put a field next to it. 
which is going to be 15 by 8. And let's go ahead and one farmer. So we only need one on this one. No, wait. Wait, wait for it. What did I do? Uh, let's do some... I don't even know. Let's look at our, our production. First of all, we only really need one villager on this one. And it's not letting me add the farmer here. The farmer's going somewhere else. So I'm going to reduce the number of farmers working there. We're going to reduce the number of farmers. I'm trying to get one of them to come over here and work. <laughs> Maybe it's because I haven't picked a crop yet. Let's do that. So potatoes. Yeah, don't have a worker. What are you people all confused? Oh, that's why. Because I have more workers. Why is it still confused? I'd love to know why he doesn't want to go to work. Let's just put three there. So now we're at 26. Three there. There we go. Now we got somebody working there. Okay, that's what I wanted. Oh, we got another trader. Let's go. S oh, no, we don't. He went away. Maybe we missed him? Or why is that still there? I don't know. I don't even know anymore. All right, let's get our house built. And then we're going to add another house right next to it. I just want to keep the growth going. I know that we're probably going to retire this map. Um, but, you know, might as well just keep playing it until then. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episodes at least. And I've taught you something. If not, uh, you've probably taught me. I've learned a lot from my viewers as well. Uh, let's see here. I'm a lot of huh uh tonight. It's Friday, and every Friday I'm just so tired. Every week I go to the gym four days a week. I do these recordings. I post recordings, as you guys notice. Probably I, I know I post a new recording every day. Meanwhile, I go to the gym four days a week, I raid on WoW two days a week, I spend Saturdays with my fiancé, and Sunday is cleaning house, prepping for the week, and recording. So, I'm always super busy, so by Friday I'm just, I've burnt candles at both ends, and then I come in and I try to do these banished episodes. <laughs> and I'm just a whole level of special, aren't I? Um, so... I do a lot of ums and stuff, but hey, you know, I'm sure you guys understand. You've been there at the end of the week. You've, you know, worked all week and you're tired. It happens. <coughs> all right. Well, so not going to do too much more. I think we're doing okay. Let's go over and check on our city hall, which I don't even know where it is anymore because I've changed my direction. I've probably confused all you two. It seems like I should go back this way. Which is how I was playing it all through the series so far. And I'll just switch directions to build my farms and then I'll change it back. Alright, so we're still producing more food than we are um, actually using. So we've got a stockpile that's increasing. We have an inventory. Let's check our inventory and see what kind of food. So pumpkins are low and corn is low. We got a lot of potatoes. I'm going to change this. I've got it on potato. Let's go pumpkin on that one. And let's build another farm right next to it. So let's rotate here. And we're going to put another farm right next to it that will make the other. So it's going to be 15 by 8 again. This one will only have one worker. We're going to add... See, this is what I don't understand. All right, corn. I think that's what we're low on. Now this is where we need one. That's why. Okay, got it. Got it. I think corn was the other thing we were low on. Let's go check. So corn and pumpkins. Yep. So we're doing good on potatoes, though. We got lots of potatoes. So that's going to give us some more production here. Let's go ahead and add another house. I want to keep the babies coming. I don't want it to slow down. You know, I've never actually had a dis disasters are on on this map, yet I have never had a disaster. I've never had a tornado. I've never had uh, a fire. I've never had anything like that. So th I find that interesting. I wonder why that is, that I've never actually had a disaster hit any of my villages that I've ever played. So that will be interesting when one does hit. I think I'll just, just sit here and go, 
I'd freak out. Uh, let's see, we've got... Uh, I want to make sure we have a storehouse for this all to go into, and we do. It does make it faster if you've got it right there next to it. And since we've got some free people, I'm going to go ahead and increase our number of workers up and get double the houses going. So that's good. All right. Yeah, so doing good on this. Uh, let's see our cows. We're max seven. We put another sheep farm. Or we got cows. More cows going over here. Now hopefully having two on that field is going to be okay. Hmm. I think we're doing okay. So, yep, we got another house built. Let's go ahead and start one more. So these are all our farmers. I'm going to put another set of houses here. So, yep, not too bad. Well, I think we're going to call it here for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Become a Finian today, and I will see you guys next time. If I do decide to go ahead and start the new series, after, at the end of this video, then I will, or after this video, then I will go ahead and put a link down below. So if you don't see a link down below, wait for next video next Saturday. See you guys next time. Bye, everybody.